Hey, what's going on with it, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Tony Chance calls the one, the only. Here this is some guy, 2009, AK Nintendo Free 2011. So, why, well, yeah, sorry, I just came back from the gym, tired of shit, and I was wearing the same clothes like from before, but that's, um, I forgot to mention in my other alternative media earthquake video, whatever, so check that shit out if you haven't checked it out yet. So, why, well, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. And I only have two pictures that are gonna be going back and forth, so. I actually heard about this like two days ago, once again from Mr. Makey Electric, awesome dude, definitely check and subscribe to his channel for sure, sorry about that. Just <laughs> finished having a burrito thingy. <laughs> so yeah, basically, I'm not sure if you guys can tell this, but definitely check this shit out right here, it's insane as fucking hell. I mean, good fucking lord, this is amazing, but at the same time, scary as fuck. So this London businessman all the way out in London, England, so all my Britons out there, shout out to you guys. Um, if you're watching this video, because I know I get a lot of views out in the UK, same with probably a lot of other people, but it's cool. So yeah, basically his son, the sun got so intensified that um, it ended up melting the crap out of his car. And this shit, it's cool, but at the same time, it's scary as fuck. So um, I'm not sure how many, like, any guys are, like, Christian or if you have any other religious belief out there, which I really don't give a shit about religion, so fuck religion. I really don't give a crap about it because that shit's all man-man. You could go, you know, left and you know, back and forth talking about politics and religion. I really don't give a shit about that. So I'm going to toss that to the side. But, if you are religious anyways, you know, fuck it. More power to you anyway. So I really could give two shits of the fuck, really. This shit's a little scary because um, I know in the ending times, I was actually having a conversation with one of my roommates about a, month, a week or two ago. And I was going to say a month. <laughs> this was last month, but still. It still counts as two weeks. So basically, he was saying that, um, oh, I remember in the trials and tribulations times that people are going to end up cursing God out so fucking much uh, all these buildings and all this shit's just going to start going to fucking waste and you can tell this thing got a lot of serious fucking damage on that sun seriously it was either that or maybe it was just a weak ass piece of crap car and it looks like a real real super nice like fancy car I'm not sure if that's the case or not but shit's a little crazy you know you can see the sun reflecting on all of the rays you see the rays on the beams of the buildings I don't know what's next you know it could have been a thousand fucking degrees if it's melting the crap out of that, you know, car, seriously. It's turning it back into fucking scrap, scrap metal from whence it came from, you know? From where it was before, previously, you know, prior to its invention and all that shit, you know? But, uh, yeah, you know, shits are scary times, you know? If I was him, I probably would have left it in the shade or something. Maybe that would have had a little bit of a hedge of protection over the car. Just saying, I'm just putting it out there, you know? And last but not least, I'm um, lucky nobody was in the car because... Fortunately, out here in the 702 on Vegas, a lot of kids end up getting killed. I feel real sad for them. Mostly little kids that are like maybe 8 through 13 or whatever. And again, left in the car and they end up dying in there when it's like two to 400 fucking degrees like Fahrenheit. Hot as fuck. I remember um, back in the days when I was still living with my folks. Um, luckily for me, they didn't leave me in a fucking car. I would have been dead right now and wouldn't be talking to you guys right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's that. And, uh, yeah, one final note, um, I don't know, if there's an asteroid, meteor, comet, and all these crazy weather effects either happening from heart, you know, a little association of, uh, the little corrupt bastards that like to blast the living crap with their little weather machines, etc. It's either that, or if it is actual natural weather that's killing people, you know. It's a funny thing, I actually had a straight, strange, crazy-ass dream last night about all these lightning strikes going all over the place. And if any of you guys, I know this is an alternative media, but I'm not, like, I don't want to get too far off topic. Any of you guys are like little Pokemon fans and stuff like that. I had a dream about like this Houndoom Clefairy being like cannibals just eating each other. It was fucking weird as fuck, you know? I don't know. It was either that or like the... <laughs> I know it's a shit's GMO, but I only eat it once in a while because one of my roomies is kind of brainwashed and shit. They ate a little bit of a Taco Bell thing. That's probably what it might have been. I don't know. Don't judge me on that shit, though. Seriously. So like I always say, um, is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you... <clears throat> Is what it is, ain't what it ain't. Yeah, see you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're out around the world, don't drink or smoke weed at the same time. And don't drink the reckless. Hopefully this dude had car insurance because it's not. He's going to be um, pretty screwed up the ass. But for That's all I'm saying about that. All right, so take care. Stay safe. See you on the next ones. And, uh, yeah, you guys take it easy. Um, be easy, like I always say. Um, take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys soon, all right? I'm out. It's late, and uh, talk to you next time, all right? Peace. I'm getting the hell out of here.